2020 fever has moved north from Christchurch to the capital Wellington for game two of the series between New Zealand and India at the Westpac Stadium. And here they come, they are batting first again. They have been inserted. Daniel Vittori has taken New Zealand's preferred option to bowl first. Gambier on the left and uh, on the right for Linda Saywag who set the tour alight with some very quick fire hitting the other day but it wasn't enough and India weren't able to mount a big enough total in Christchurch. Have they learnt tonight on the surface here in Wellington they'll need to produce you would imagine around 180 plus to challenge New Zealand's very strong lineup. And he'll have to bowl that one again. So India off the mark with a wide. No real swing there for Tim Salvi. Some inches from behind the wicket, no interest from Salvi himself. But yeah, that bounce, that rarely carried through. Good single soft hands and a good call from Sawag. End of the first over, it's two without loss. Oh, this one's hit better. This will go for four. He is dynamic. Maybe need another one over there, Dooley, because he is exciting. He both sides of the wicket, and that's what makes him so tough to bowl to. The pitch, if he gets the pace of this pitch and the bounce of this pitch, it's going to be very hard for, for Daniel Vittori and the bowlers to pull him back. down the ground he hasn't timed this one brilliantly but he'll get away with it will he get four i think he will yes he will it's a wonderful shot wonderful use of the hands there's only one thing on his mind already and that's boundaries it doesn't matter where it's pole it's got to go to the fence it's got to be a very enjoyable way of playing let me see if it comes off and it does so often with this man Saywag's going to pick up four more. Well, the other thing to note is Daniel Vittori attempted to take that catch. As I'm sure, I think he's not giving too much away, but four runs to Saywag. He's not comfortable as he looked to take this catch. Another wonderful strike. Perhaps not out of the middle. Vittori buying a little bit of time. Not sure, mate. I've certainly never jumped that high, so I've never seen I've never heard one of those injuries, but he might be able to tell me. Oh, that's a good reply. No, when I jumped, uh, you might be able to get a piece of A4 paper underneath your feet if you're lucky. Oh, he's got that away. It could be down a fine leg, a chance there. No, he's got four more. He's on fire once more, Saywag. So, like. That's what makes it tough. The bounce of the ball before was a good ball. This one. Not sure where he's trying to bowl. It's sort of not forward, it's not short. It's just about the midriff. And so we're inside the ball, helping it on its way. I've seen enough of him already on this tour to know that that's going to go pretty much 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 times, mate. Yeah, he plays that with ease, doesn't he? Smashed very straight out. He's got him, Vittori. He got it over Vittori's head. And over before that, but this time he's hit it straight down the New Zealand captain's throat and he's snaffled it. Well, oh, so often happens we talk about Wax Lyricals about how I'll say Wax hitting it. And just one too many. This time a bit fuller from O'Brien. And just created the miscue. I saw it a bit fuller. Say Wax coming across the bat turns in his hands, no power. And Daniel Vittori takes a very good catch for a number of reasons. And that smile means a lot. And just say Wag, 24 from 11. It's 29 for one. Ian Butler now. Back into this New Zealand side. It's got a lot of variation. Still has a bit of pace about him as well. And he's been pulled away. What a stroke that is. All the way for six. One of the key periods of this game, I believe, is whenever a team takes a wicket, it's how they respond. We saw a good finish for O'Brien. He had four good deliveries to the new player. Very important that Ian Butler continues that. First ball to be short, a nice first ball of a spell, a little bit cold. So important in the shorter version of the game that you follow up a good set. Three, four, five. Yeah, he's going to go for one. He's going to hold out two.
you got the feeling three or four dot balls can have a massive effect on on any bat come in. He's seen Sayway play so well. Butler a little bit short. Rayner looking aggressive and pays a price. Good catch from Sally. He got up high. Same position that Daniel Vittori from that end. Previous over from that end. Couldn't quite get up. But Rayner four balls for naught. Maybe a 36 for two. That's pure. That's a lovely strike. We saw nothing from Yuvraj Singh the other night, really, but that's a taste. Sure is. Uh, he is one of the cleanest strikers of the cricket ball. And uh, you can see why with this shot. He's checking his follow through, but he's such a good striker of the ball. Gets it away to the boundary. And again, down the ground. That'll be four more. Just gave himself a little bit of room. And O'Brien obliged in the right slot for him. Yes, yeah, so the anticipation was good from Yuvraj. He outsmarted the bowler here, gave himself room, and the ball was in the slot for him. The good thing is he's looking to hit straight. Both his boundaries in this over. He's looking to bang it down the ground. They've just that uh, all hop back onto the perimeter, as you see. That's uh, down the ground, and uh, it's not timed perfectly. Or I'm racing back. Well, he entertained the thought of getting it to Jacob Oram, but it just got away from him. Ten from the over, 47 for two. Sorry, it just Jacob Oram had actually had the chance, I thought, directly side on. I saw him running back. I thought he had the chance and the opportunity to put the hands out there. Just didn't do it. Thought, of, thought better of it at the last minute. the catch. Gambia just a little edge straight through and the Butler strikes for the second time and twice in a row Gambia has failed. Yes, yeah, strange innings from uh, Gautam Gambia. He was never in it. Trying to manufacture shots out of nothing. Really, this is a nothing shot. Gets the outside edge. Uh, New Zealand continue to take wickets and uh, India just not learning from the last game in Christchurch. Already three wickets down, and we're into the seventh over. It's 47 for three. Oh, this is in the air again now. Has he got enough on this? I think he has. Oh, it's been put down. Neil Broom, he had the opportunity to swallow it. I thought Yuvraj had got enough to clear the fence. But in the end, Broom had a fair crack at it and missed. He's misjudged it. And what a lucky break this for India. Could this be the slice of luck? You well, can see six. him touching it. And that will be He's six. actually standing on, he was standing on it. As I saw it clear as a day, Smithy. Yeah. Uh, he was standing on the yellow sign as soon as he touched the ball. That will be a six. It was never going to be out even if Neil Broom had caught it. Oh. Oh, a little bit of luck there, and that'll go all the way down for four. It was a bottom edge, I think, off McCullum's pads in the end. He's finally nailed Vittori. It's taken him a while. Boy, that's big. Well, he has to fetch that, but he's done it well. Back to back off Vittori. And another biggie. Flat and a long way. And unusual. Two sixes, let alone one six from Vittori, the way he's been bowling this summer. To see two sixes in a row is very unusual. Oh, that's big. That's massive. Oh, my word, that sounded big. I've lost it. And it's 50 to uh, Yuvraj Singh. Monstrous. That side, you reckon? He's going to go. He's going to go. Yeah, safely taken in the deep. Beautifully judged Jacob Oram. It was only a metre in it. But the safe hands come into play. Well, I think that's a bonus. They're looking to cut down your right single. Hit him one side of the wicket. He thought, yep, I'll play the game and I'll hit it over that side of the wicket. Not quite enough. Jacob Warren, very relaxed, very casual. I'm sure the heart's beating. A number of the New Zealand players, the heart will be beating because that's a massive wicket. you right seeing great innings. Beautiful shots. 34 balls for 50. And India, 92 for four. Well, it should take balls anyway. <laughs> He's got him. Only took one. Boy, he's good. 
Danny Vittori went for two sixes in the last over, but he's come back. He's still only gone for 20. Just sliding the ball through, the pace in which it's get it through. Had a little bit of action on the way, a couple of feet, a bit of batting edge, a couple of pads. Unfortunately, an off stump for Vatan. Another key moment. India 94 for five. No, he hasn't hit that well at all. And uh, just, just into open spaces. Orem, he's a tall man, he was diving away to his left, trying to use all his height and length, couldn't quite get there. Good effort. New Zealand would believe they have a great chance here of picking up uh, some wickets. Too full, that's it right in the middle of the bat and four. Yes, that's come right out of the screws. Easy pickings though for Dhoni. Oh, this is it well. Or is it? Yes, it is! And good start to the over. Oh, smeared away through the offside. One, one bounce for four. Well, this is just the kind of over India were looking for. Oh, straight, straight. There's a chance down there for the fieldsman. Gets it, takes it. Safe as houses. Martin Guptill. Well, no problems there. Just didn't get the timing right on that occasion. The change of angle uh, worked. Not quite getting the elevation. Not a useful hand here from Ravindra Jadeja. India lose another wicket in the quest uh, for quick runs. He goes for 19, 121 for 6. Oh, he's bashed that away as he placed in the gap. No, no, he gets it though. He picks up four. A much needed boundary for the Indians. And this came out of the meat of the blade. Very good effort in the deep. That ball was traveling. A little bit disappointed there, Broom, because he, he got a good hand on that and he just needed to parry it back into play. Patan hits this straight. This player's coming round trying to stop it. Has he got it? I'm thinking, no, he hasn't. Oh, what an effort. There, yeah, he gets applaud from McCullum. That was Guptal. He is so fast across the ground. This is a good way to finish the NHT. He's got all of that. Six runs. Well, just what the doctor ordered as far as the Indians were concerned. Finishing on a high note. It would mean that the target for New Zealand would be 150. Heading through the innings in Christchurch. Uh, in the foreground and the background, Jesse Ryder, who completely missed out. Out LBW in Christchurch. Mark Richardson is uh, coming alongside me. I'm just about out of voice. Take over, my friend, and uh, I think New Zealand the favourites here. Yeah, the, the thing in the Black Caps' favour is that they can bat the, to the conditions. They've been out there, and have made a, a total that will take some getting, but they'll know that uh, with a little bit of assistance there, they can take their time to a certain extent. Control is the key early on. And Ryder says, that'll do me. Now about six to begin with. Just short of the length at 132k. Whoa. I hope you got back in your seats quick, folks. Well, this may be the reason why, is that uh, he's getting uh, some swing away from the left-hander into McCullum, which should uh, cramp McCullum for room. 11 without loss. Just the boundary in the over to Ryder, and uh, some good stuff from... Zahir Khan, one boundary and four dots, so. But I'll clap for this one as well. That's beautifully played. Just a little swivel. Wasn't that bad a ball. Second boundary and over, and the over all of a sudden, 15 without loss. Wasn't as short as he thought, and it came onto him quite quickly, Ryder, and he had to use that good hand speed he has to flick it away. No extension at all with the arms, but uh, his wrists were quick enough. Oh, that's 
gone. That's a beauty. Way over the top of backward square leg. Great piece of timing. I think McCullum has got to try to use that swing and hit with it. And just went with the swing, got himself in a good position. If you get it wrong, you've got no protection in those areas. So McCullum says, uh, I like this plan, I really do. And a uh, more conventional slip, more at about two, two and a half is in place. Not well enough directed though. A full toss on leg stump and that's easy pickings for Jesse Ryder. Huge over for New Zealand, 33 for none. Something different here. That's what Sharma has, it's a difference about the way he bowls. That's four and it's lucky. Nature of the game. That's got to hurt, because that wasn't anywhere near the middle of the bat, but he picks up another streaky four. Well, the looks at it all. You've got to bowl the ball into the surface to get anything at all out of it. Sharma, a couple of inside air, or an inside edge and outside edge, a little bit of hard luck, but good fortune for McCullough. There he goes again. That ain't good fortune, that's good batting. Well, fellas, Ishan Sharma's just come off the field. He's uh, just down in the Indian dugout here right now. He's got a problem with his right shoulder. Well, right, he's got no problems. He did have a shoulder problem about a month ago. I think it's fixed. Great fielding. Terrific fielding in the deep. Well, that's Rohit Sharma, fellas. Rohit Sharma, he's just gone on for Ishan Sharma. Got him. He has, he's dragged it on, I think, Jesse Ryder. It may have been held back and pace a wee bit from Zahir Khan. No great celebration for India, but they have at least struck. Well, it was all a bit nondescript, wasn't it? Let's have a look at this. That was Seema. Just straight through, just clipping the top of off. Well, they love that delivery in the test, and it's worked in a 2020 as well. He's out for 26, right? He was striking it very nicely. 53 for one. Doesn't quite get hold of it, but uh, will still get the boundary. So runs coming thick and fast here for New Zealand. There's a lot of head shaking going on. This classroom, man. <laughs> Big inside edge, that's why. The ball has hit the bat. There was a deflection, hence he's annoyed, upset. He was looking good. So lucky break for the Indians. 69 for two New Zealand. He's got that good slider too. Oh. Look like the top there, and that's been uh, dealt with finally. Oh, what an intelligent stroke that was. Oh, what a cracker. What a ripper. He's pounded that into the wicket and got some bounce and moving away from McCullum. That's a wonderful return to the bowling crease. Yep. New Zealand playing very sensibly at the moment. Another half century for Brendan McCullum and his good run continues. Started in Australia. Half century in the first game here in Christchurch and now another one. Oh, fantastic bowling. What a Yorker from Irfan Patan at exactly the right time. And Taylor looking to launch through the onside. He just could not adjust in time. At least a four out of the six. And this one's dead right. Line good. Length spot on. And India get a much needed wicket. Taylor departs for 27. 125 for three. He's gone first ball. Orms nicked that, no doubt about it. It was wide. He was right to go for it. But he didn't get enough. And hello, Patan's on a hat trick. And who'd 
Everyone's on their feet. Well, this match has come to life, that's for sure. A short, wide, asking for treatment. And in spite of being a tall man, Jacob Oram couldn't quite reach it. Just gets the outside edge. A double blow here for uh, New Zealand. Oh, he had to hit it. There would have been uh, a reasonably big shout. He played around the pad, but he got back. They're both the Eden boys, are tough little roosters. And that's not bad, is it? That's caressed behind point. That went to the boundary at the rate of knots. 16 from 9. Straight up in the air. Now, this should be caught. Patan, Irfan Patan. He's got it. He's got it. Hello. Hello, India. Believe. All of a sudden, they believe. This one went miles up in the air. I think it's a straightforward chance, but when the match is uh, in the balance and you've got a big crowd, it's a good catch under pressure. He kept his eyes on the ball right till the very end. Droom departs and New Zealand have lost another wicket. Still 16 to get from eight. It's 134 for five. He's hit this like a tracer bullet for four. What a cricket shot. What a cricket shot. Skill in the end was very good from McCullum. They need 12 from six. Game on, 138 for five. If they get a wicket here, I think India win. If they get a wicket from one of these deliveries. McCullum over mid on. Has he got that well enough? It'll skip through for four. Harbhajan can't pull it in. Game alive still. This is going right down to it. Don't take your eyes off it. They needed that boundary so badly, New Zealand. And now, four to tie from two, five to win. This is 2020 cricket at its best, and... Uh... Good work by McCullum, they're chipping down the track, getting the full toss he was looking for and finding the gap. Still five needed from two, so boundary much the need of the hour. Where's it going to go? McCullum hits straight, straight down the ground. It skids across the surface and in and out of it. Oh, just fantastic batting. What a shot, the scores are tied. Brendan McCullum, he goes across the square leg umpire to say, check the score, and what happens if we lose less wickets? Do we win the match? Last ball. McCullum hits in the air. He'll be out. Will he? No, it falls away. I can't believe it. New Zealand have done it. McCullum, just enough timing. Oh, agony, agony for India. And Brendan McCullum... Well, what a great family moment, but it's been Brendan's night. He's going to be man of the match on both occasions. He's batted through on both occasions. His heart was in his mouth, and look at the fans. Absolutely. They're drained. They certainly are. One team has to win, one team has to lose. But like I mentioned earlier, it's cricket, the winner. The opportunity was here for India. The ball was in the air for quite some time. It was Rohit Sharma who had just come on the field and just couldn't take it. Did not time the dive to perfection. And New Zealand know they won it. Terrific game of cricket. In the end, you could hand it out to Brendan McCullum, who delivered for New Zealand in that final over with two spectacular boundaries and then the winning hit. And once again, batting through the 20 overs. It means that New Zealand have won the 2020 series 2-0. 149 for six and 20 overs. We wondered if it was enough, but India have fought tooth and nail, and it only, only was off the last ball, and McCullum, Brendan McCullum, snuck it just over the top of the man at mid-off. They had to be up because they had to stop them getting one, and it was high on the bat, but just enough, and good stuff, good stuff for New Zealand and what motivation that will be for them as they go 